Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. With me today, I've got my Ruger American Ranch chambered in 450. Got a red dot optic on it. I love shooting the 450 Bushmaster. I don't care who you are, shooting big bore rifles and pistols for that matter is always more fun. And today you can see I'm shooting clay blocks and the ammo we're using today is some black butterfly tomahawks in 450 bushmaster take a quick look at that these are 250 grain maker bullets these are super nasty but i'm going to be shooting these clay blocks with this ammo hoping to get some really good expansion and some good footage of these bullets traveling through the clay what i hope happens is we get a very good cavity through this clay but what may happen is we just blow all this clay to smithereens and just have some cool footage to watch i'm gonna go load up this ammo into the ruger american ranch this should be a whole lot of fun let's go shoot some clay like i said i think it'd be real cool if we blast a hole all the way through this clay and it leaves holes all the way through there boom 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 but we may just blow it to smithereens let's load up see what happens all right, loading up that 250 grain black butterfly. Just looking at that makes you think that this is a nasty bullet, but I guess I better take these covers off the red dot there. But let's load this thing up. Just loading one round. Take a shot here. Oh! Hopefully, we can catch this bullet. This should be a lot of fun. Oh! So, that should make for some interesting slow-mo, but, uh, yeah, the first two clay blocks exploded everywhere, and a big chunk of it actually came back and hit me in the face. There's some clay right there on my glasses. You can, oh no, it's on my forehead. Ha ha! Yeah. Well, let's go check out the damage. I was really hoping that we could reuse that clay, remold it back to cubes, and shoot it with more bullets, but I don't think that's gonna be a possibility, which is kind of a bummer because that clay kind of costs a lot of money, but oh well, <laughs> we still got to blast it with a 450 Bushmaster. Let's take a little bit closer look. So, standing back from the table, you can see there's clay chunks all over the yard. There's even some way over there. There's some way over there, way over there. That blast, shot clay uh at least 10 yards away and there's more all over here looking at the table a little bit closer so remember we had two blocks there in front of the brown one so block blown to smithereens was right there and there was another one spaced right here blown to smithereens and then we've got clay white clay all lodged into this brown one but the question is going to be here did a bullet come out the back and it looks like no there's no hole in the back and there isn't a hole in that jug there so one of two things either the bullet is in this brown clay or there's a possibility it might have come out the side there you can see that kind of cavity coming out the side so I'm gonna set the camera down do a little bit of digging in here and see if we can find that bullet I really hope we did catch it unfortunately I dug through all this clay and I kind of peeled out this last block and I could not find the bullet anywhere so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna shoot it again but I'm gonna take this last block 
and all this other mess of clay, mash it all together into one big block. We're gonna shoot it again, see if we can catch the bullet. If anything, surely we could catch it in these water jugs behind it. I don't know how that one veered off to the side, but it did. So I'm gonna mash all these together, one big block of clay, we're gonna shoot again. All right, so check it out. I took all that clay, molded it back into close to the same shape we had before, almost those three clay blocks. And this time I've got them back to back to back. I think it may have messed up because we left some space in between the blocks. So I'm gonna aim for dead center of this front piece of clay. Hopefully we catch the bullet somewhere in there. Let's go see what happens. All right, here we go again, shooting the clay. Let's see what happens. So, same thing again, clay went everywhere. Let's see if we can go figure out what happened. Looking at the table, the clay is completely gone and looks like the GoPro got some clay shot up on it. And I'm seeing some water dripping down I don't know if that means that we caught that bullet there or not. It looks like there's a dimple up here, but that's not really a hole. Where is there a hole? Looks like the water's coming out of the bottom here, but that doesn't really look like a bullet hole. Looks like it just got smacked so hard that it cracked. Needless to say, those rounds have a whole lot of power and they definitely slapped that clay silly and pretty much made it disappear that's going to be really interesting to watch that footage thanks for watching the video guys it's always a whole lot of fun shooting the 450 bushmaster always a whole lot of fun shooting the big bore stuff big thanks to black butterfly ammo for making that awesome ammo i'm really excited to use that out in deer season big thanks to heavy metal guns and outdoors for all your support everybody go check out their channel as well don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the next one. Hootie Hoo!